Well, we're in Phoenix, where it's 105 degrees, and it's the morning time here. Actually, it's almost lunch. I just got to get out of this heat. I'm at a company that distributes hotel furniture. Uh, they collect a bunch of furniture here and then they sell it to hotels all around the country. So we have an interesting trip for you. We're going to take some furniture from here, take it to Gallup, New Mexico, to a hotel there that's buying some furniture. And uh, we'll visit Historic Route 66. Life is a journey. We got the uh, tables loaded. Now they're going to do mattresses. So we're going to go to another warehouse for that. The mattress warehouse. This is amazing. outside it's like an inferno 116 I'm wimping out on this one here. Got all our mattresses on board. Furniture. They estimate about 20,000 pounds, so I don't imagine we'll have any trouble pulling the two or three hills that we have to pull. furniture there when a hotel is closing these folks come and buy the furniture from a hotel and keep it there and then when someone else wants to buy furniture they come here to buy it I did a load once like this from it was the only downtown load I've ever done downtown Salt Lake City Marriott Hotel sold four or five floors of all their hotel furniture to a little hotel in Mississippi. So I took my little truck and trailer downtown and they loaded it up and went all the way to uh, Mississippi with a truckload of hotel furniture. This is Buckeye, West Buckeye here in Phoenix. Very busy road. And we're gonna go back 
to 51st. In 300 feet, make a right turn and then approaching destination on the left side in 300 feet. And we're going to hit QT for something to drink. Here in Phoenix. Do you see anything odd here? How about that loves? I guess the guy there, he has to stop too. Although, he, since all he does all day is go to loves, he could just go there. What about QT where I just stopped? They sold me as a customer. Make a right turn. One time they were out of the sandwich that I like there. And man, I drove out of my way to, to bring my rig over here and get it, and they didn't have it. I told that to the man. In 500 feet, make a right turn. And he says, you know what? Why don't you pick out any sandwich you want in it? It's on the house today. When a when a company does that to me, they they made a customer of me for life. I don't know if he was supposed to do that or if he would have got trouble for doing that. I even buy fuel here at this QT. I've never seen that guy since. Maybe he got fired. In 1,000 feet, take but the entrance to the right. If more people did things like think of customer service first, man, they'd have you'd have people dedicated to coming to QT. People already like QT. Maybe in 500 feet, take the entrance to the right. Maybe they do that to everybody. I don't know. why 
it swerved over there. And I think we're catching up to that Love's truck that I saw back there in QT. Just right in front of this other truck right here. Flagstaff, 
where it's going to be cool enough not ha not to have to idle tonight. I I don't have enough hours to get all the way to Gallup. In 300 feet, approaching destination. But, right I, side. but I sure could make it to Winston. This is a 14-2 clearance. Clearance. <laughs> but I have, and I have a 14-foot trailer, so. like a back row here without a reefer unit by me. If you watch the uh, episode where Old Red breaks down, it was right there that we parked for the night when I had to be towed in. And I drove it all the way from Albuquerque. All right, Warner doesn't, uh, oh, what? Thanks, Prime. be new or something. All right. Flagstaff, Arizona, where the air is clear. Let's see what elevation we're at. Elevation is 6,873 feet. What interested me about this particular trip was where we're delivering to tomorrow in Gallup is right on Route 66. Route 66, whatever you want to call it, right in the old historical section of Gallup. And so I've, I've told you over and over that uh, our family used to travel that route quite a bit. So it'll be interesting to see where this furniture is going, what hotel it is, and if possibly I ever stayed there as a kid, I can usually remember oddball things like that. And so uh, kind of excited to wake up in the morning and deliver this hotel furniture it's nice and peaceful here in Flagstaff. One reason I like Little America is the food they serve here is really nice. Nice to have a good fresh salad made right here in Little America. Which I'm going to eat right now and then go to sleep. So we will see you bright and early. Make sure you get good sleep tonight because we got to get up in the morning early and deliver this furniture. You're watching Life is a Journey with Indiana Jack. Stay tuned.
Well, good morning. You guys were sleeping, so of course I always let you sleep. We drove 50 miles. There's mosquitoes here this morning in Winslow, Arizona. On our way to Gallup. Let's get going because we're getting chewed up by the mosquitoes. I was literally attacked out there by mosquitoes. For some reason, they're the itchy kind, too. Some mosquitoes, for some reason, they don't bother me that much. But these men, they must have had huge stingers or something. Dang. actually running behind because I didn't account for the time change. We're not going to be late because I always schedule things real early anyway, but we're not going to be as early as what I thought. The thing is, when you're heading East, you always have to account for the time changes. So I made a mistake. Because the they called me, the, the account manager for this account, and wanted to make sure that I would be on time. didn't account for the time change. We will be arriving there at 8.55 and we're supposed to be there at 9, so...
You know, I researched Google Maps and Google Maps shows this place way down there by the TA. But Rand McNally says it's way down here. So Google Maps is not perfect. Because uh, it, on Google Maps it shows it as a warehouse down there, but uh, this is actually, uh, we're at 1900 West. We want 16, the 1600 blocks right up here. a Super 8. There's a day's in. That's what we want. A lot of these old hotels are shut down. It's a very competitive business. The one quarter mile approaching destination business. on the right side. I called these folks and nobody answered their phone. So because the instructions were to call an hour before. Because with hotels... There's never places to park, etc., etc. Well, this is it. The historic days in here in Gallup, New Mexico. I'll just pull here and then tell, go in and find out where they want us to go. It's really interesting being here. Because I usually don't come to this section of Gallup. I usually am over on the interstate. Your truckload of furniture. I called the phone number they gave me and no one answered it. So. Yeah, when they say they told me they're 19 and they're 20. They told me the schedule the 19 and the 20, Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. This is what they told me. That's why you know I don't have even people to go and load this truck right now for you. Okay. Because the schedule is 19 and 20. Okay. I mean, All right. I mean, look, this is not your fault. It's not my fault. Right. I mean, who called me the schedule? 19 and the 20. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. Who Who is it that schedules it with you? And then I told them, before the truck moved Phoenix, you guys give me a call. For sure. He just said, call an hour before I was going to no, get here. No, sir. No, sir. I told him, you know, the guys who call me, you know, for the chance, whatever his name is. So call me before the truck. We schedule 19 and the 20. And today, I mean, from here, I want to go get some gas. This is going to be a tricky one because we're on a busy road here, Route 66, old Route 66, and we're going to have to back in in the street. The, they have agreed to take the trailer a day early and let us drop the trailer off which is actually better for me. I don't waste all that time just sitting here. But of course, that will leave me with no empty. And we're backing into the place next to it. This is really going to be tricky. 
So I'm pretty much going to wait until there's absolutely no traffic approaching me. Except that one vehicle. And then we're going to do a driver's side back in right here. the traffic get as clear as possible. This guy wants to go out there and although that's not he's going to be in the way but they're not going to stop for him Nice. As long as nobody gets too uh, too much in a hurry. Plus, we got a low, low hang overhang, so we gotta watch that. Universal symbol for stop. Brand new carpet, brand new everything. Another successful delivery we were able to work everything out if you're ever on route 66 in Gallup and you need a place to stay be sure you stay here at the Days Inn and you might sleep in one of the beds that you saw delivered here trucking's an adventure life is a journey we'll see you next time